Hello, friends. Uh, welcome back to another session of IIB uh, from your own IIB guru. So, in today's class would be the continuation of the last class, uh, which is transformations based on date. So, in this class, we are going to deal with a data type called as interval. So, how do we make use of interval? Uh, like, when to make use of interval data type? Like what is the need of uh, interval data type? We are going to see in this session. So let me share the screen. Okay, here. So what well, what is interval data type? Let's say you want to find the difference between two dates. Two dates are given to you, uh, and you want to see how many years are lying between those two dates, or how many months are lying between the, those two dates or how many days are lying between those two dates, then you can make use of a data type called as interval, okay? Or if you want to add a one month time for the given date, uh, well, how do you do that? You can make use of interval data type. So basically interval is a data type spe specifically used with date or timestamp or uh, uh, GMT timestamp or time. See any kind of date time uh, data types, can be used along with interval. Like as I told, like date, standard date can be used along with interval. Time can be used along with interval. Timestamp can be used with, along with the interval. And GMT timestamp can also be used along with the interval. So let's see. So the, so the first use case, what we are going to do with the interval, uh, interval data type is, we are going to add a specific uh, year, uh, year frame to a particular date and see what the resultant would be. So let's just quickly create an application. Let's name it as interval example app. Example message flow. So we'll make use of MQ nodes and a transformation specific compute node. Click here the queue names. Make the connection. In this example also, I'm not worrying about what is the input message that I'm going to send. I'm just going to write some code, uh, specifically in the eSQL compute node, so that it, it accepts a date as input. So it's, it, it, everything is hard coded. So I will give a, a standard date, and then I will try to add a, a month, a year, a day to that particular standard date, and we will see what the result date would be. So to add a month or year or a day, you need to make use of a specific data type called as interval. So here, let me open the compute not code. As I told, I have not used any input message. Here we are not using any input message. So let me declare d1 or in date. This is uh, the data type is date. And specifically, let me give the standard date standard date format is let me write the standard date format standard date format is y y y y mm td this is the standard date format so if we try to write it in the actual date, so DMM is it's like it's double M. So it would be like, for example, if it is the ninth month, or September month, it should be written like this. And then the day is, let's suppose the day is 17. So this is the standard date format. Other than this, if you write any other, if you write it in any other way, like for example, if I write it like this, like 
uh, like zero nine nineteen sorry two thousand thirteen. This is not a standard date. This is not a standard date expressed in is equal. Okay. So even if you try to write it as date, then it will not be accepted as a standard date. Okay, it will throw an error. Okay, so this is the standard date. What you see here is the standard date. And then next, after declaring the input date, what I want to do is that I want to add, see this is 2009, September 17. I want to add like uh, one month, one month. So this particular date okay so how do we how do i add it let's write declare uh, out date date which is in date plus interval of one month okay so let's see now what our date will be I'm deploying and let me test so let me write the message so we are not worrying about what would be the input message let I write the message yeah. what happened let me deploy it again Maybe give the breakpoints. Simple mistakes. So let me write the message. Yes. Edit source lookup path. Message flow container. Select the application. This is application. And then let's see. So this is a standard date. If you observe here. Just click on this in date it will show you this is a date data type and then what we are doing we are adding an interval of one month to this date so it should be 2009 10 17 so 2009 10 17 okay so here along with interval I'm also going to talk about something see now the out out date is 2009 10 17 now if you want to know what is the day i mean what, what is the day like is it a monday tuesday wednesday sunday saturday what is the day on 2009 10 17 that is for this out date so how do we know about that we just like we will we have to just make use of something called as uh, e e e e e e notation we will say declare declare day format day format which is of character and just give three e's and then say de declare declare Day name character cast off outdate as character format. What is the format? Day format. Now let's see what is the day. So you see it's a Saturday uh, if you want to see 
like if you want to see in such a way such a way that it is not only three letters you want the complete name of the day like saturday s a t u r d a y then you just have to add one more e here it will show you the complete day let us try it Saturday okay and one more thing which Saturday it is see we we, we, we understood that 2009 the 10th month and 17th day is Saturday but which Saturday it is like in the week you will have like four Saturdays or more than four Saturdays like five Saturdays so which Saturday it is? Is it the first Saturday or second Saturday or third Saturday or fourth Saturday? Or in some cases it's fifth Saturday, fifth Saturday, which Saturday it is? So how do we know about that? So you just need to add like a space and add a capital W, capital W and see. So you see this is the third Saturday if you want to verify I will show it in the calendar what is it it's in the year 2009 2009 I need to go to 2009 so 2009 week to 2010 2009 2009 october and it's 17 17 so first saturday was third second saturday is 10 third saturday is 17 so yes it's a third saturday okay so we can reduce the number of e sql statements here instead of writing the day format like instead of writing this statement separately you can just give it here as out date as character format and you can give the format here as e e e e w this will also work out we need to close it See, it shows you the correct day and uh, like is the third third Saturday or second Saturday or first Saturday whatever the count is okay and the next thing I want to show is how do you subtract it's very easy so set our date is equal to in date not in date so yeah in date minus interval of sorry three months it's simple as simple as that Okay, so our date is 2009, 6, 17. Okay, three months you have. You have subtracted three months. Okay, now if you want to subtract between two dates. Okay, so how do we do that? Just say and declare subtract date date so it's like 
let's say we want to subtract this date in date from the current date so how do we do that just we have to make use of current date minus in date in year okay but here what are we going to get we are going to get like if you mi minus the current uh, in date from the current date we are going to get uh, a, a interval we are not going to get a date okay we are going to get an interval so this sub date should not be of the data type date it should be of the data type character whenever you want to place the value uh, place the outcome of an interval then you have to make use of the character data type for placing the interval outcome so here instead of making use of date you have to make use of the character data type so what it will do from the current date whatever the current date is if you can see here the current date is uh, the current date is uh, 6 27 2017 okay so if you minus 6 to 6 27 2017 from 9 uh, 17 2009 what is the result and how many years are there how many years are in between the current date and the in date so that would be that would be an interval so an interval can be specifically accommodated in a character data type so let's see so if you see 8 years interval 8 years so between 2017 and 2009 there are 8 years but it's not exactly 8 years why because here you can see it's a ninth month and currently we are in the sixth month so it's not exactly 8 years but it's like 7 years and how many months 7 year and uh, See if you if you try to minus exactly so it's 2009 to 2017 is 8 but for to become 8 uh, years still 3 months are needed okay so the it's 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 left with 3 months to complete 8 years okay so it's a only 9 months so 7 years and 9 months but it's giving us 8 years why because the interval is in years okay try to understand because the interval you have given it as years it is rounding off so it it does not give you seven years and nine months but it gives you eight years so what if you want to express it in exactly how many years and how many months you want you have to you need to express it in that interval so what you have to do you have to give the interval as year to month and then it will give you exactly how many years and how many months is between the current date and uh, input date it will give you that exactly see it's seven years nine months as we have discussed it's seven years nine months okay and Let's suppose we want to know how many days are there between the current date and the input date. So we can make use of day here. So it will give you how many days are there between the current date and the input date. So there are 2840 days between the current date and the input date.
okay let's see one thing like like for let's say how many hours are there between the current date and the input date can we find it out how many hours are there no it's not possible why because we are talking about date but we are not talking about timestamp we are not talking about time or timestamp see time will have hours minutes seconds subseconds okay but whereas date will not have the, the, the standard date will not have hours minutes seconds and subseconds okay timestamp will have date as well as time okay so if you are talking between two timestamps like if the, if the subtraction needs to be done between two timestamps then you will have uh, the difference in the hours you can find the difference between the hours or minutes or seconds but if we are talking about the subtraction between two dates then there is no point of uh, like there's there's no way that we can get the difference in the hours or minutes or seconds so in this example if you see current date just contains the date year month and day uh, and in date also contains the year month and date but uh, if you want to get the difference between the hours then you cannot get because there is nothing uh, specifying the time so if you want to get the hours difference then you just have to mention here that the data the data type is time stamp time stamp so time stamp contains what time stamp contains hours hours so let's say uh, 13th hour uh, 13th hour 53 minutes 25 seconds okay so now what is like uh, the difference between in date and it will be current time stamp current time stamp and you want to know the hour difference so now you can get it so let's see So it's 68,170 hours. So between these two timestamps, between the current timestamp and the in date timestamp, the difference is 68,170 hours. Okay. But if you just have two standard dates and you want to know the hour difference, it's not possible. Why? Because they don't contain any time specifics. Okay. So timestamp or time or GMT timestamp is where you will have time specifics. If you want to calculate the hour differences, then you need to have either of these. Either it should be time or timestamp or GMT timestamp. Okay, so this specific class was intended to talk about interval. So we have finished interval. So hope you understood this class. If you like my class, please do comment please like and also subscribe my videos and share my videos. Thank you.